we're almost at 1500 subs please subscribe i want big sexy lola bunny with big fat boobs again what's the big idea here what's with this generation wanting to censor bunny boobs do these directors not realize how many fans they are alienating they are excluding the furry community and the people who will only see space jam 2 just to jerk their fat big mac wangs to animated bunny girl okay let's backtrack a little bit First off, I am not a furry. I do not get off the furry videos. If you're a furry, then cool, but stay off my lawn. Second, Lola Bunny got a redesign for Space Jam 2, a highly anticipated sequel to the original Space Jam that came out over 20 years ago. And in the original Space Jam, Lola Bunny was basically the definition of hot and steamy, and any 13-year-old peach fuzz carrying wizard would rip their balls off to the extreme level of thickness that Lola used to carry in the original film. But now, it's 2021. People are different. The internet is what runs our world. We get offended by everything. My generation literally tried to cancel Eminem a few days ago, which let me know in the comments if you want me to make a video about that, but things aren't the same as the 90s anymore. So the creators of this sequel felt that big titty, badass, stereotypical, good-looking woman Lola wouldn't appeal to kids. So they decided to turn her into a flat-chested derp with clothes that cover most of her prominent features. And I think there's a lot of mixed reactions to this design change. A lot of people just don't see why they had to change the design. Tons of people don't care about the redesign. And some girls are actually offended that the creators thought that getting rid of the sex appeal of Lola would make people take her more seriously and would also make it more appropriate for kids. Now, I'm going to give you my very mediocre opinion, which does not matter in the slightest. And if you, my friends, have a problem with what I'm about to say, please quietly take your hurtful words and beliefs and politely fold them up and push them up into your rectal cavity. With that being said, I am not affected by this design change in the slightest. I really do not care. I never got off to Lola Bunny as a kid, but I'm sure others have. I'm looking at you, you furries. But anyways, personally for me, I don't really see the point of making a character super hot for a kid's movie. Like a majority of people seeing this movie are either hardcore fans of the Looney Tunes cartoons or children. And children don't really care slash need to be exposed to big booby bunny girl. At least not yet. Now, that being said, I don't get the change of the design either. Like I think I read an article about the director feeling very disturbed by how over-sexualized Lola used to be in the original movie. And like I get that. But the personality Lola carried in the original movie helped create a love subplot between Bugs Bunny and Lola. So like, I just don't see why the creators felt the need to ditch the boobs, the short shorts, and give her a face similar to Dream's logo. Also, even though I said children shouldn't be exposed to big booby, horny Lola bunny, a kid isn't going to care. The kid's just looking for entertainment in the form of a two-hour movie. They don't care whether Lola is attractive or not. And I found this quote from the director of, of Space Jam 2, Malcolm from Malcolm D. Lee. Um, and it says the following, this is 2021. It's important to reflect on the authenticity of strong, capable female characters, he said. She probably has the most human characteristics of the tunes. She doesn't have a thing like a carrot or a lisp or a stutter. So we reworked a lot of things, not only her look, like making sure she has an appropriate length on her shorts and was feminine without being objectified, but gave her a real voice. For us, it was, let's ground her athletic pow prowess. God, I've never seen that word in my life. Her leadership skills and make her as full a character as the others. Okay, first off, guy, I got a slight lisp, all right? And saying that that isn't a human trait really makes me angry and self-conscious. It kind of hurts my feelings a little bit. So, I don't like you anymore, Malcolm D. Lee. Get out. Second, it just kind of sounds like you're dumbing down Lola, so one, it would be appropriate for children, which, again, I don't have a problem with, but two, it would make people take her seriously. And in my opinion, it kind of sounds like you would only take a girl seriously if she had short shorts, or excuse me, long shorts on and no boobs. Ladies, it does not matter if you got big boobs or small boobs. You're all very smart and awesome in your own ways, and I think all men and other fellow humans should take all of you seriously, no matter what you look like. Even though Lola was over-sexualized in the original film, she was very smart. At least I believe she was very smart. But again, this change does not bother me. I really don't care. I'm still gonna go to bed at night with my dick in my hand, and I'm gonna sleep good. All of you who are like me who aren't personally affected by this change, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon, follow me on Snap, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and join my lovely Discord server. Links are in the description below. Have a wonderful day, and remember, bring back Big Booby Bunny. Hey you! Yeah, you watching this dumb advertisement. Stop running away from me. Are you bored? Do you want to make new friends? Do you want a cool place to hang out? Well, stop running! 
Jesus, come to the Omen Army Discord server today. It's packed with exciting features that'll get your heart pumping and your nuts tingling. Stop by the hub to say hi, post something weird and out of context. Are you a starving artist? Post your artwork or fan art in the art channel. Share music or funny videos with people in media motion. Got a Twitch or YouTube channel? Are you an Instagram model looking to boost your clout? Promote your content and self-promotion. Feel free to join voice chat and play around with awesome bots like Stuart, the AI bot, Dank Memer, Pokey 2 or catch up on current events with the World News Channel. Hey, dummy head, want to stay up to date on when I upload crappy videos, start a live stream on Twitch, or put up a new song that contains fatty acids? Check out the Zero Omens content category and start binging the content, bro. You like memes? What well, we got them. Post your memes or even collect fresh Reddit memes in the meme channel. Want to make fun of me and make me feel like a dumb, stupid idiot head who poops himself? Make memes about me and then shove them in the John's meme channel. There's just so much to do in the server. So get off the couch, stop hiding in the bathroom, get off my lawn, you dumb asshole, and get your buns in the Omen Army Discord server today. Warning, the Omen Army Discord server is not responsible for numbers who contract first, second, or third degree burns, animal related diseases, gout, fibromyalgia, rheumatoid arthritis, asthma, blood clot, body lice, explosive diarrhea, bronchitis, breastfeeding, HIV, info and mouth disease, erectile dysfunction, AIDS, herpes, lead poisoning, salmon, L, SARS, seasonal flu, super herpes, chlamydia, gonorrhea, pelvic inflammatory disease, sickly shingle, and much more. Cool.